Free NBA picks. This is action here for Wednesday, October 25th. Tony T with our NBA pick show here for Wednesday action. Features all 12 games. Four games, you just a couple things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NBA picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports like NFL, like college football, Major League Baseball playoffs, NHL. Lots of live shows with lots of cappers giving out plays over our channel, making it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would, support our channel. Give us that like, that thumbs up. We greatly appreciate it. Then visit Tony'sPicks.com. We are a multi-capper site showcasing top cappers in our industry. Click the links to the hot cappers. Get signed up to our long-term passes. Hot cappers like Ramon Scott, Joseph Schultz, Hollywood, Sam doing great. Look at this last three days. Sam's been on fire. Daniel Walschuk, Ben up there as well. Pravi doing great. Click the links, get signed up to our long-term passes. You'll find our latest premium picks here, center of the page. Click the tabs for our best bet. It's our $15 premium pick, multi-packs, and props. Remember, our one-day pass is our profit guarantee, meaning they must turn a profit in the amount you purchase is credit back to your account for site. Credits, that is profit guarantee. Long-term passes are not profit guarantee, but they're sold at a substantial discount. Also features on the long-term passes, features like late steam plays, as well as props included in your all long-term passes you may purchase our place a la carte from the pick ticker with team versus team information as well as prop information on the individual props for sale you can save 20 percent off all premium pick packages use that promo code tony t at checkout access our page by clicking the link you see in the description click the all cappers tab get signed up always love to hear from you guys you can post your picks in the comments and we are looking for cappers apply on that home page all right let's get this one started Hawks and Hornets NBA pick this one here on Wednesday. Wesley Matthews out for Atlanta. Bridges, Cody Martin, and Frank Telekina out for Charlotte. Quinn Snyder was an off an in-season hire by Atlanta, and the increased offensive efficiency in his time. Uh, Patty Mills and Wesley Matthews are notable additions for the Hawks. Exiting were John Collins and Aaron Holiday. It was a disappointing 27 and 55 mark for Charlotte last year. They selected Brandon Miller with the second pick in the draft, but was unimpressive in the summer league. Hornets had four picks in the first two rounds of the draft. Dennis Smith Jr. exited the team. A healthy ball is a plus for Charlotte, along with Rozier, Hayward, and Washington, contributing to a good starting lineup. Atlanta was really a poor defensive team on the road last year, allowing 117 points per 100 possessions. Charlotte head coach Steve Clifford is in his second year and brought over to improve the defense. So in this one, we're going to take Charlotte here at plus three and a half. Wizards and Pacers NBA pick this one here on Wednesday, Gil, Shamet, and Davis out for Washington. Indiana has a clean injury report. It was a huge roster shakeup for the Washington Wizards over the summer. Notable additions were Jordan Poole, Tyrus Jones, Mike Muscala, Exynar Bradley Beal, Kristaps Porzingis. This could be a Jordan Poole show in Washington, and some expect him to be pretty much a stat accumulator. Kyle Kuzma is also offensively focused. Word is Poole uh, was let go by Golden State, really due to a lack of defense. Bruce Bowen, Obi Toppin were notable uh, additions for the Pacers. Chris Duarte exits the team. Indiana had four draft picks in the first two rounds. Talented scorers like Therese Halliburton and Benedict Matherin were reasons the Pacers exceeded his expectations when they were healthy and on the court together. Both teams were poor defensively a season ago, with the Pacers allowing 117 points per 100 possessions and the Wizards 115 per 100. The additions for Washington are offensively focused. Bruce Brown was let go by Denver for lack of defense. Play here, Washington, Indiana, over 235. Celtics and Knicks, NBA pick this one here on Wednesday. Al Horford probable for Boston. Knicks have a clean injury report. There has been significant turnover for Boston. Gone are Marcus Smart, Robert Williams, Malcolm Brogdon, Grant Williams added were Christoph Porzingis and Drew Holiday. Notables added for New York was Dante DiVincenzo and lost was Derek Rose. New York was strong on the offensive glass last year and this should help them here against the Boston team lacking size. They got smaller based on their turnover. This was a Nick team that covered 17 of their final 25 following the break. Post All-Star break, New York was second in offensive efficiency, averaging 120 points per 100 possessions. Starting five intact for New York, there are continuity, size, and depth issues for Boston. Play here will be New York, plus three and a half.
Rockets and Magic NBA pick this one here on Wednesday. Easton and Oladipo, Alfred Houston, Kevon Harris, and Gary Harris questionable for the Magic. Houston added some notables to their roster like Fred Van Fleet, Dylan Brooks, Jeff Green, Jock Landale, and Aaron Holiday exiting KJ Martin. Now, Ime Udoka is in his first season as head coach. That's an upgrade. Van Fleet and Brooks have issues shooting, though. The Rockets picked up two first-round picks in Eamon Thompson and Cam Whitmore. Whitmore shined in the summer league with the MVP. Of course, Orlando was all the talk. I should say Houston was all the talk in the summer league. Orlando's filled with young talent. The team has, was decimated over the past two seasons with injuries, and we seldom got a look at their potential. There's lots to like in this starting five with uh, Carroll, Wagner, Suggs, Fultz, and Carter. The Rockets veteran additions and massive upgrade in coaching. The difference here still question marks about the Magic's offense to cover more than one possession. Like them more than an underdog role play here will be Houston plus the four. Cavaliers and Nets NBA pick here for action on Wednesday. Garland probable for Cleveland, way doubtful. Rubio and Allen out. Whitehead is out for Brooklyn. Max Struess, George Young, and Ty Jerome were notable additions for Cleveland. Robin Lopez and Damian Jones exit. The pickup of Niang and Struess really helps the Cavaliers improve their three-point shooting. Brooklyn added Dennis Smith Jr. Exiting are Patty Mills and Darius Baisley. They did draft two first-rounders late in the draft and added a pick in the second round, but the lack of size for Brooklyn created issues scoring inside and rebounding. Brooklyn shot poorly from three and didn't have the luxury of consistent inside scoring. Cavaliers were sixth in defensive efficiency post-All-Star break. Uh, so in this one, I think the inside is where, where the key here. So we'll go Cleveland and Brooklyn under 221 in this one. Pistons and Heat, NBA pick here for action on Wednesday. Bogdanovich, Livers, and Morris out for Detroit. Highsmith and Richardson out for Miami. The Pistons added Joe Harris and Monte Morris in the offseason. Goner Diallo and Corey Joseph. They selected two, two first-round picks. Now, Kay Cunningham has the superstar potential, but has played just half his less than half his games the past two seasons. Monte Morris is a coaching upgrade. Well, Miami lost the, the, the seven versus eight play-in game. They found themselves playing the winner of the nine versus the ten for our entry into the playoffs. But after securing a spot in the post uh, playoffs, they won the East but lost in the finals to the Nuggets. This was a team that underperformed in the regular season, finishing 44 and 38 and struggling on their home court. Miami picked up Josh Richardson and Thomas Bryant. Notables Lehman were Max Struess and Gabe Vincent. They did pick up Jaime Jaquez with their first round pick. This is a veteran Heat team that went deep in the playoffs and is. And it's been four and a half months since their loss to the Nuggets. With a healthy Pistons team, will trust their offense to do their part here. Post All-Star break, the Pistons were 21st in defensive efficiency, allowing 117 points per 100 possessions. Play here will be on Detroit, Miami, over 219 and a half. Timberwolves and Raptors NBA pick. Here we go for Wednesday. Clark and McDaniels out for Minnesota. Toronto core players are healthy. Minnesota added Shake Milton and Troy Brown in the offseason. Notables exiting was Tyrone Prince. There wasn't much roster turnover for the team that finished 44-45 and 45 and lost in five games in the first round of the playoffs. Those are, that's Minnesota. The starting five lineup from Tim Rose produced positive ratings, but the bench shooting dragged the team down. Toronto adds Dennis Schroeder and Jaina McDaniels. Fred Van Fleet exits. Siakam is on a contract year, and OG Ananobi has a player option to leave after the season. The word on the Raptors is, is to force them into a half-court offense, so where they really are not efficient. Darko uh, Rajakovic enters his first year as head coach. Three-point shooting an issue for the Raptors, and their additions won't help much. With a healthy Towns, we'll prefer the Timberwolves here, and the team has more continuity. Play here, Minnesota, minus one. Thunder and Bulls, NBA pick. Here we go for action on Wednesday. Oklahoma City core players healthy. Zach Levine questionable for Chicago. OKC added notables in Davis and Davis Bertans. Exiting players are Dario Saric and Jared Butler. They did add Kaysen Wallace with a 10th pick in the draft. 
The Thunder have been really good to betters, covering 50, over 59% of, the, of their games the past two years. Oklahoma City needs to get scoring with SGA off the court. Chet Holmgren is healthy. Chicago adds Javon Carter and Torrey Craig. Notables exiting are Patrick Beverly and Javante Green. DeRozan is on an expiring contract. Prefer the combination of SGA and Giddy at, uh, at the guard off guard position and door it forward. Chicago did not shoot many threes and scoring inside will be tough against the Thunder. Play here, Oklahoma City plus one and a half. Pelicans and Grizzlies and be a pick for action on Wednesday. Alvarado, Marshall, and Murphy out for the Pelicans. Aldama, Clark, and Morant out for Memphis. Cody Zeller was added to the Pelicans. Jackson Hayes and Josh Richardson exit. New Orleans has suffered through cluster injuries the past few seasons, but this was an efficient team when you had McCollum, Ingram, and Zion on the court together, and they played super fast. Memphis added Marcus Smart and Isaiah Todd. And lost Dylan Brooks. John Morant will serve a 25-game suspension to start the season. Smart has shot poorly from three in his career. With McCollum, Zion, and Ingram healthy together, the check mark here is on the Pelicans playing New Orleans plus the one. Kings and Jazz NBA pick. Here we go for action on. Wednesday, Lyles out for Sacramento with Jordy questionable. Utah, a clean injury report. Exiting Sacramento is me too with notable additions of Chris Jordy and JaVale McGee. Sacramento was the healthiest team in the league last season. Sacramento was solid offensively, but defense at home must improve. Utah adds John Collins as, and, and as, as a bookie exits. There was not much turnover to the core players on this Jazz team. The troubling part of the team is they went 8-14 and 14 straight up after the All-Star break. They sat players, as you know, and they sat 25th in offensive efficiency by averaging 111 points per 100 possessions. Now, defensively, they sat 19th by allowing 116 points per 100 possessions. Post All-Star break, the Kings led the NBA in offensive efficiency, averaging over 121 points per 100 possessions, but they were 24th defensively, giving up 118 points per 100. Play here will be Sacramento and Utah over 236.5. Mavericks and Spurs NBA pick this one here on Wednesday. Doncic and Hardy are questionable for Dallas with Powell probable. Graham out for Portland with Collins probable. Heavy roster turnover for Dallas. Notables added were Grant Williams and Seth Curry leaving the team. A lot of your supporting cast members, Justin Holliday, Telekina, Christian Wood, Markeith Morris, Reggie Bullock, Davis Bertans. Mavs went 9-18 after acquiring Curry Irving and missed the play-in tournament. But the key is having Doncic and Irving on the court together. Grant Williams brings much-needed defense and rebounding. Boy, rebounding was really weak for, Den for Dallas last year. San Antonio added veterans Reggie Bullock and CeeDee Osmond. Bates Diop and Langford as well. The first pick in the draft, Victor Wambanyama, makes his debut. Shot poorly from three last year and will be in the lineup in the forward position. San Antonio defense, the concern here with Wambanyama. Not at center yet. He probably has to add some had some strength before you can put him in the center. Uh, Doncic did not feel sore Tuesday, which helps his cause of playing the opener, so we're banking on him playing. Doncic, Irving on the court together improves the scoring. Spurs defense, I think, still going to be bad here. Players, Dallas and San Antonio over 230. Trailblazers and Clippers NBA pick this one here on Wednesday. Wainwright out for Portland. Man and Primo out for Los Angeles with Highland questionable. Portland acquired Aiden, Robert Williams, and Malcolm Brogdon. Damian Lillard and Drew Eubanks are notables leaving. They did have uh, two first-round picks, including Scoot Henderson with the number th uh, three pick in the draft. So you got Simon Sharp and Henderson in the backcourt, young and fast. The Clippers added K.J. Martin, lost Eric Gordon. Not much roster turnover here for L.A. A healthy Leonard and George were the key for the, for the season as they were great together on the court. There is good depth off the bench still here for the Clippers. Um, Portland's youth movement will lead to some excitement offensively and some long nights on the defensive end. This is one of those nights when they face a team with continuity like the Clippers. There will be a lot of points scored with George and Leonard on the court together. Play here Portland, Los Angeles over 227.
All right, that was our NBA pick show here for Action on Wednesday. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have free NBA picks updated all season long. Free picks every day from all the major sports like NBA, like NFL, college football, Major League Baseball. We got the World Series coming up, college football, NFL. Of course, uh, what do we got? College basketball a couple weeks away, <clears throat> making it a great time to subscribe. And also, if you would support our channel with that like, that thumbs up, it's greatly appreciated. And visit our site, TonySpeaks.com, for our best plays, our premium picks are there. Use that promo code TonyT at checkout, and you will save 20% off. Find the link in the description to get to our site. All right, lots of picks, lots of live shows on our channel. I'm Tony T. We'll talk to you guys later.